Welcome back to another episode of Saturday Afternoon Gaming. I'm your host, Gaming Jay, and today we're hopping into the 2003 squad based tactical third person shooter known as Brute Force. This game comes to us from Microsoft and Digital Anvil, and Digital Anvil is really the company that produced it. They're the, I think the company that did Wing Commander as well. This was their last game before they kind of just got folded into the Microsoft blob. Uh, but, uh, yes, they were programming this for PC, I believe, and then Microsoft bought them out and said, you know what? We want another sci-fi shooter that we can throw on the Xbox, so you guys are it, you know? And, <laughs> uh, yeah, this game, uh, this was actually a Patreon fan recommendation, um, or request, I guess you could say. Uh, and I looked into it, and I thought this does look like a pretty cool game, and I haven't played a good Xbox game in a while, uh, let alone one I'd never heard of, so... Yeah, I'm down for this. It kind of reminds me a little bit of that unfinished game, StarCraft Ghost. Do you guys remember that? Back in around the time of the original Xbox, Blizzard had this idea of taking StarCraft and turning it into a third-person uh, game, and they were going to have a ghost be your character, which is a brilliant choice for a tactical shooter. Like, you can stealth, you can lock down units, you can psychically control units, but you also have guns and and all sorts of stuff, you know, that, that that game would have been amazing, I believe. In fact, I think it was, like, mostly finished, but, you know, knowing the Blizzard design process, they they continually tear down and redesign until their game is perfect, and that game just never saw the light of day. So, who knows, out there somewhere, maybe some Blizzard employee has access to an unreleased alpha version of uh, StarCraft Ghost, and they should leak it on the internet. Just saying. Anyway, we're going to play Brute Force. Um, the fact, by the way, that this is squad-based tactical, uh, is even another layer above what StarCraft Ghost, I think, was. So the fact that you have a little squad, so it's like you have two characters who are good at fighting, from what I've read, one's good at stealth, one's good at sniping. It's kind of like the Lost Vikings of, uh, of, of shooters. Or at least that's sort of the idea I'm going in with in my mind. So start a new campaign or load a saved one. Start a new campaign using default settings. Well, I, I want to know what settings I'm using here. So uh, default or inverted. God, I wish I knew what they counted as default. Like, do I want it to be inverted? I'm not sure. Uh, I guess let's select default. Uh, and I'm just... Uh, yeah, we're going to go with the default name. Because if I have to come back out here and rename redo it because inverted is what i actually want that will be annoying i hate when shooters use up and down the same way planes do where up aims down and down aims up you know like i'm a human being let up aim up um, a lot of old shooters in the old days sometimes would do that um you can play this game fully co-op as you can see which is cool so there's four characters you can have four people um and i guess tex is the default character and then we have sergeant gonzalez Private Cogburn and Corporal Stout. I'm going to be Tex, though, man. He's got a, a minigun, which I am aching to see. Let's see what this campaign, uh, what, what sort of the, the gist of it is. So we're in space. I think that's our bedroom. Is that a mattress? Or No, this is a command. Oh, sorry, that's not a mattress. That's just a fancy carpet. We're in a command area. Deputy Director Operations. Brute force has been approved. Mission parameters require ninth cloning of operative code named Tex. Oh, they're cloning me? Now they're just dropping me from high orbit or something? No, there's a plane coming down. When I, I pressed uh, I pressed a button there on the uh, on the email screen, I might have missed something. <laughs> we might have missed a lot, because now I'm just in the mix. Get out of here. Okay, we're fighting some kind of alien race. We're we're holding off. Or we were trying to hold them off for the plane, but then the the plane came all the way down and landed, and then it was like, yo, forget it. It's too dangerous. I hear you, you son of a Alright. So our guy is a one-man alien kill machine. Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> he's one a one man I got killed by aliens machine. Okay, so 
But did we select to play as him? I'm very confused. This is kind of a cool TIE Fighter-esque ship. It's like a little ball with, uh, except instead of a TIE, uh, like a left and a right wing, it has four wings. Texas memory chip recovered. Cloning procedure successful. Subject has been deployed. Oh, I don't get to play as him. I get to play as his clone. Okay. I, you know what? I'm happy being a clone. I feel like that's, that's a satisfactory way. As long as you know you're a clone. You can deal with all the, like, you know, the metaphysical well consequences of that. There are deadly and being a clone's okay. As well. Watch your step. I'm going to guide you through this mission by updating yellow objective markers on your radar. Thanks, Chief. So the world looks the pretty detailed. Pressure course if needed. Otherwise, proceed to the first objective marker when you are ready. It's like everything from like lava to flowers and stuff. All right. Movement. Looking around. Enemies can hear you move. Try walking slowly to avoid detection. All right, so stealth is being mixed in even on the, con the basic control screen. Invert the controls by pressing the start button. Oh. Well, okay, I, th that's great that you can invert them in-game. Why does the default player profile ask if you want to invert them? Very odd. Um, okay, accept. All right, these feel pretty good oh more instructions popped up uh red represents your health your current weapon okay radar displays your radar squad stuff good good oh more it just keeps coming inventory displays the active item that can be used by pulling the left trigger okay good that's actually kind of cool like uh in halo the left trigger was just throw a grenade but it'd be cool if that was like an uh, inventory slot. So it's like by default it's a grenade, but you could have had other things like a med pack or something. I don't know. I like you didn't really need a med pack in Halo. Well, in Halo 1 you did. Anyway, I, I digress here. Uh, we're getting way off topic. Your reticle indicates where your weapon will fire. Okay. Any more? Press the back button to view mission objectives. Press the back button to view mission objectives. Eliminate every terrorist at their main base. Secondary object objectives, investigate all those terrorist base buildings. Find out what it's like to be a terrorist. Live a day in their life. Understand their plight. Meet their family. Uh, resume game. Okay. All right, well, we are, we are officially trained. Sort of. Well, they were going to tell us more about whatever I decided. Like Screw it. Company. Get ready. Your radar will track the enemy as those are well-armed terrorist people. Okay. Oh god, they see me. They see me. So much for stealth. Fire weapon. Reload weapon with X. Yeah, this is all basic Halo control scheme. As I said in the intro, they used uh, they used Halo as a, a template for the control scheme. So when they were developing this game, I can't remember if the the patron who suggested this said that at one point. Microsoft was considering releasing like this to be their Halo franchise or not, but this game did come out a little bit after Halo, although they were both in development at the same time. Um, okay, wait, what? Those instructions are useless. Um, uh, I feel like I, I got off topic here. So they were in development at the same time. Halo. Um, I already said that they used. Damn, what was I gonna say? What was my train of thought? Um, they did use the Halo control scheme as like a... God, with the inventory crap. Okay, yes. There we go. Oh, you can like decide how far you want to throw the grenade. I see. Just shoot him. Or we'll just... There you go. Oh, eat that, bud. Oh, he dodged it. Oh, he still died. Um, yeah, anyway, the, the controls are very Halo-like. Um, if, if my mind wanders to the thing I was meant to tell you guys about, I will bring it back up, but until then, um, yeah, I, I like the idea that, 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 that Microsoft is trying to come up with a bunch of sci-fi shooters for the Xbox, you know, theme it. You know, this feels appropriately original Xboxy. Uh, in fact, this feels a little faster paced than the original Halo. Like, it feels like you're running around a lot faster. Um, you know, one thing, can I pick these up? No, the, okay, those are mines. 
I'm pretty sure that's what the they said, but I was like, can I get them anyway? Uh, use your special ability. Use two weapons at once. Ooh. Heightens perception, regenerates health. That would have been handy. This guy automatically targets enemies. All right. This is the area where your berserk mode may come in handy. Don't hesitate to use it. Go! Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, so third person shooters sometimes feel like more open and action y to me than first person shooters. It's interesting because, like, years ago, like back when I was playing the original Halo, I 100%, um, I think, preferred something like, you know, Halo or Doom or uh, Half Life to third person shooters. I wasn't a huge fan of them. But the more I play, the more I played games over the years, the more I started to think, actually, I prefer third person shooters because they give you like a wider field of view. You know, like if I was playing a first person shooter, I wouldn't really be able to see what's to the left or right of my character. And you can't really see what's behind your character too easily, but you have some sense of it. And I find this mimics the real world a lot. Like, have you guys ever in a first person shooter like Halo or Half-Life or Doom or something, like gotten stuck on a corner, right? And, like, you kind of have this this feeling of, what am I stuck on? Uh, you know, like, you're not entirely sure what it is. Oh, I can swap. What is this? Oh, interesting. And I have an assault rifle. Interesting. All right. So there's multiple guns here. Um, but, yeah, so the sort of sense of, like, what am I stuck on? In the real world, if you walk into a room and you bump your elbow, it's yeah, like... Maybe you have to kind of turn your head and look, but most of the time in your peripheral vision, you can see where you're getting stuck on. And in third-person shooters, the fact that you can kind of see around your character really... Uh, ooh, I have a squad. Um, oh, thanks, dudes. Uh, but yeah, so in third-person shooters, having that extra field of view, I think, really makes it feel a little more realistic in like what you can see around you. Uh, anyway, change characters. Pressing the D-pad in the direction of the desired character. Uh, you can see what your mate's health is on your radar. If a character dies, their portrait will be replaced with a skull. I see. Um, how do we switch inventory items, actually? Oh, God. What was that? What did I just drop? What was that? Oh, health. There we go. I just figured it out. The black button uses health. Let's try swapping to one of these guys. Press and hold the D-pad in any direction. Press the D-pad in the character icon. Okay, so we can't switch to these guys, but we can give them commands. Oh no, I am I am this guy. I'm Private Cogburn. Private Cogburn reporting for duty, sir. So I know they put a lot of effort into the programming of the AI. And the AI, oh my god, I didn't know you guys could duck. Whoa, you taught me something, bros. The AI will, like, get in the cover and do all sorts of stuff. So, yeah, the squad here is actually uh, they're really smart. Okay, this gun sucks. Cogburn! You're screw up! Give me text. Squad commands. Oh, here we go. Move to, fire at will, cover me, and stand ground. I'm going to forget that right away. Uh, fire at will, though. You, fire at will. Engage. You fire well. Oh, it shows you every time. All right. Go to weapons ready mode. I'm on. We're gonna flank them, boys. We're gonna work as a team. Do I want their crappy weapons? I do not. In fact, I I want to switch back to uh my good because I I took the secondary weapon I have is their crappy weapon. It sucks. Pick up the sniper rifle by that crate and try to pick off some of the guards from a distance. Oh. I think I'll pick up that sniper rifle by the crate and try and pick off some of the guards from a distance, I've decided. Oh no, these guys are going nuts though. Um, wait. We want you to stand ground and you to stand ground. Stand ground, there we go. All right, you guys. How do I switch to tax? There we go. Uh, where is that sniper rifle? It's back over here. Here we go. All right. Go ahead and... Thumbstick to toggle sniper mode. All right, here we go. Click the right thumbstick. Oh, yeah, here we go. This guy's getting sniped. If I can aim at his head. God! 
Stop killing him, dude. Oh, I just got it. That sucked. Oh, man. Agent Coburn's making me look terrible. Okay, hold X to activate the panel. There we go. I, for one, actually would have really enjoyed a third-person Halo game back in the day. Oh, man, it's so hard to aim. Oh, oh I sniped his buddy behind him by mistake. Boom. All right. Boom. I think I kind of hit him. And he's kind of still alive. So I probably didn't hit him. Boom! All right, that was fun. Oh, there's a guy right there, is there? Guess what? I have the perfect remedy for this. Hold it steady. There we go. School's out. Time to go. I like how my guy has like one liners, like he wants to be like some kind of like sci fi Schwarzenegger dude. I also have tons of grenades. Start using these puppies. No need to heal. Oh. Where are all my grenades then? All this stuff. Can I kill this guy from this distance? Oh, there, what the? I don't know how to switch inventory items. Okay, that's like one thing I'm still figuring out. Oh, there we go. Well, I know how to throw grenades. I feel a lot looser on the combat than in uh, most shooters. My guy's just lobbing grenades, firing in all directions. One down. There we go. All right, anyone else? There is a red mark over there. Oh, look, there's a guy up there. How do I get up there to kill him? Oh, my my whole squad is not here, by the way. Um, hold on. Uh, cover me. Cover me. Cover me. There we go. Well, you know, I did that whole I did that whole battle right there with all my squad. I'm so good I don't even need a squad. Not on the on the tutorial level, I don't need a squad. I'm that good. Okay, I don't know where that other guy is. He's hiding. He fears me. I'm taking damage. Not enough to not shoot at me, but you know how it goes. Okay, we have bullets. Where are ya? There we go. We got him. Nice work. We're all done here. Head to the extraction point I've marked on your radar, and I'll bring you home. Oh, that's it. We did it. Did we investigate all those buildings? Did we get our secondary objective? What is this? Oh, that was the beacon. Glowing orb on the ground. They vaporized us. Ooh, they're even paying us cash. Cold, hard simoleons. Oh, shoot. We got a ton of cash. 4,000 4, bucks. Imagine you actually got paid that amount of money to play video games. I mean, I don't, I don't make that much money. <laughs> I make very, very little. I'm going uh, negative to run my channel, guys. But <laughs> yeah, I guess some people out there can make uh, like 4,000 bucks to play video games. It's a sweet deal if they can. The clan, he's exiled, an outcast, banished. Until now, these outcasts have wandered the land as lost individuals, scavengers waiting to die. And so now we're fighting lizard people. Someone's turning them into a death squad, gathering them, leading them, cohesively molding their thoughts and A death squad of lizard people. Charmer. We've gotten reports the outcasts have been using alien technology in their latest raids. Great. If we get proof of that technology, we might have our answer. Anything else? The newest member of your team is there now. You'll rendezvous planet side. A feral warrior named Brutus. Feral. You partnered me up with an animal? He's confederation trained. He's one of us, Tex. Yeah. He's just a little feral. He's got a light. He's got a little bit of rabies. If he asks to bite you, just say no. 
Nice to meet you. My name is Brutus. Can I bite you? Well done in that combat, ally. Maybe I should bite you a little bit to to uh, celebrate our success. <laughs> I've got you covered, buddy. Let me know if you need a quick bite before you go into combat. He's just always bringing up biting. Oh, he's gonna bite those guys. It's the rabies. That guy's just like, oh god, no. <laughs> he's like regretting his decision to uh, attack him. Oh, he's hulking out. He's going nuts. He's immune from lasers. He's so mad. This is what Ewoks wish they were. They wish they were like tree dwelling monsters. All right, we get it. He's evil. But he's our kind of evil. He's on our side. Yeah, so the, the first two guys are good at combat. I guess my guy, he, like, dual wields. This guy goes nuts for his power. Um, and then we have someone who will stealth and someone who can snipe. So those are going to be the four classes that we get to play as. One of, the, one of the criticisms I read about this game is that um, all the levels can basically be completed just through fighting. Um, so the extra skills aren't really necessary, uh, but they do make life easier. Um, and I, that's a fair criticism, I guess. But I think it would have been a little annoying if, you know, you had to use all the skills or levels were, like, impossible. So I, I get what the developers were going for, trying to give you, like, options. You know, if you just wanted to fight, you could fight your way through levels and so on. But anyway, these guys are having a little conversation, but it's time to stop talking and time to start killing. Cross any. Lay down some covering fire so right, I guess we're not allowed to be Brutus yet. We're not ready for that. All right, let's go. Green dots are your allies. Okay, allies. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Shoot, I should have listened to what he was saying. Hold on, we can go to... Locate Brutus, find the alien technology, save the feral colonists. They're all feral, eh? There's a lot of rabies going around. Oh, here we go. Alright, Brutus. Let's find you, bud. I want to join my awesome team of uh, Murder Co. So I like to run a little space adventure here. You know, we were killing mercenaries on some alien planet. Now we're like up in the treetops in like an Ewok village here. Good variety of uh, environment so far. Oh, and there's even evil. Oh, he's like dodging and rolling. Oh man, I feel so bad. He works so hard to try and survive. But dead he is. Kill this guy over here too. Yeah. Do we want his weird gun? Hold on, let's try it. Just out of curiosity. Ooh, it kind of like, it bounces. Ah, oh, you know what? We have two guns. Oh, no, we don't. We have, like, a shotgun. Okay, you know what? We're going to keep our machine gun. Because here's the thing. I bet when we find uh, Brutus, he's going to have one of these alien bouncy guns, and then we will play around with that. But let's continue on here. I am 100% going to get lost in this village. Colonists putting up some resistance. Oh, bad guys. Hold on, let's use a shotgun. Boom. Hey. What's up, dudes? You guys on my side? Where you guys, where are you going? Anything cool in here? Healing garrow fruit. You guys have healing fruits. Oh, I hear combat. Don't worry, guys, I'll get them. Boom. 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 Oh. <laughs> Shotgun is a powerful thing. Nav beacon continually updated. All right, they want me to go over there. I guess I could switch back to my machine gun to have some range, but I kind of like this shotgun. It's a beast. Just one shots everything within a small radius. Video game shotguns aren't accurate, right? For like anyone who who knows anything about guns, you know, like like shotguns in real life are used for skeet shooting and stuff, which is like kind of that has some distance to it. But in video games, shotguns are often portrayed as guns that have, like, no range, but, like, brutal at, you know, up close, they just, like, shred you like a chainsaw. Um, I Maybe that's accurate. I don't know. But uh, I, I believe someone told me once that, you know, they're not really 
in movies and TV shows and stuff, the way they're portrayed is not quite accurate. Um, Score another one for the good guys. Here we go. Completed. Just continually rescuing everyone from the village. I guess no one's supposed to be there but me. Everyone's like, oh my god, I'm out of here, bro. Four colonists saved. I guess, so I guess the enemy can kill the colonists. And obviously it's a bad thing if that happens. Okay, now we're going down here. These bad guys over here. Oh, there we go. It, it, it's hard to know like where you've been because uh, because there's like verticality in this level, but I'm shocked so far that I have not gotten lost. Somebody behind me is shooting? What's happening? Oh, look, there's a guy over there. You want a tango? Boom. I like when I shoot him off the, the ledge. We do that. We brutalize this guy's body. It is not going off the ledge. I'm just wasting bullets. All right, forget it. <clears throat> um, okay. So we want to be like right over here. Like see the yellow on our radar? This is where we want to be. Um, oh, look at this. Maybe we want to be up here though. What the heck is that thing? Bratton, I've got some alien doodad here. Nice work. Secure the object and bring it with you. Get the doodad. Oh, it even says so. Alien doodad acquired. Oh. Who dares attack me? Oh, he's still alive. There we go. Oh, he didn't even go off the cliff. Get off the cliff. It's so frustrating. Look how, like, a, a solid boot to the face would knock him over the cliff. My guy has too much damn respect for his opponents, though. <laughs> it's pretty funny. This gun is great. This gun is very satisfying. Let's go ahead and reload. Alright, Brutus. Wait, was I supposed to come down here? Yeah, okay, I think I was. Again, it's hard to tell the radar. Wait, wait what was that? What kind of gun was that? A minigun! <clears throat> well, don't mind if I do. Holy God, that is awesome. Okay. But we're going to keep with our shotgun <laughs> in the meantime. A shotgun and a minigun shock trooper come into your village. You run. Brothers. An intruder. Yep, and there ain't nothing you can do about it. Where are ya? Kill you. It is a little harder to aim in this than in like a first person shooter. I will I will say that much. Alright. Oh, this guy has a shotgun too. Mine's better though, buddy. Oh, there's more guys? Where are you? There we go. Yeah, I think... Oh, I was gonna say we're gonna switch to our minigun now. We just saved Brutus. <laughs> well, hello, Brutus. <sighs> it is good omen that we meet over death, Tex. I'll take your word on that one. We are one of the same pack now. We fight together. We die together. I'm with the fighting part. Gentlemen. Bet this guy gets all the ladies. Mine is not. My clan must be avenged. Ah, hell. Might as well, sir. We're here. Report back together. Soon. <laughs> all right, you two rascals. You can go slaughter an enemy death clan, but I want you back for dinner. You hear? Rescue Bru Brutus. Uh, use the white button to activate special abilities. Takes less damage when in Vengar. Sense spirits. Regenerate health. Kill enemies by charging them. Okay. So, that's that. That's the Vengar mode, I guess. Alright, we'll try that shortly. But I want to... We need Brutus alive. Uh, we aren't sure if we can clone him yet. Well, I hope you can't. What? For his sake. They want to clone him. Oh, hello. I was going to say I want to use the chain gun. 
first. Yes. Whoa. Victims. Oh my god. What exploded? Anything good in here? Let's eat some fruit. Brutus, eating fruit is how we maintain our health. Regenerates bullet wounds like you would not believe. Oh. Where is that coming from? Hello? Okay. <laughs> Damn it. I feel like now that I have Brutus, I, I have like a big it, bigger target on my back. Oh my god. Reload! Boils with hatred for outcast. Only when they are all dead will my anger cease. Alright. Well, if we gotta slaughter a village of outcasts, we gotta slaughter a village of outcasts. Don't know what to tell you. This I'm loving this gun. Where are there? Oh, let's switch to the uh, our dude. Um, I'm right behind. You. There we go. All right, Brutus. Oh, look, he even like moves different. This is quite interesting. What kind of weapon does he have? Yes, he totally has this bouncy weapon, so we get to see it. He moves like a dog. Or like, uh, it was like Zool does in Ghostbusters. Zool and the Keymaster. They were the dogs. I think sometimes people think that Zool was the evil god they fought at the end, but that was a Gozer. Don't get, don't get mistaken, guys. Don't be a Ghostbuster noob. Zool was Dana Barrett in dog form. I like his gun, by the way. This, this gun is actually, like, pretty handy. Boom, 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 boom. It, it, even though the ricochets I don't think are hitting anyone, it feels like they kind of are. Like, it doesn't feel like just missing a normal bullet. Um, the other thing that's kind of cool about this guy is just the way he moves. Feels pretty good. Like, like it's hard to describe, but it just feels like a very active uh, movement around the battlefield here. Oh, yellow guys. You now, Brutus. The new gods have made our clan far superior. New gods? There's only one god, and he doesn't dress like that. Um, there we go. I think I just used a med pack. My guy worship it, worships a fish-based god. He's some kind of... I, I feel like he looks like a shark with arms. My Brutus guy, so... He worships like a giant, you know... I don't know, salmon or something like that. That's it's the god that evolved for these primitive tr tree dwelling sharks, we'll say. Damn. <laughs> I took a heavy amount of damage. Oh, this would be the perfect time to berserk. Good job. You accomplished more than we set out. Oh, to damn, the mission's over. Okay, hold on. Berserk anyway! I guess running into people like this is how you would. Uh, I would kill them. All right, I have a lot of... <laughs> it looks like vinegar, but I have a lot of Vengar in me. All right, let's just go. All right, we will rage out on the next level, I promise you. I forgot I could do it. He's still glowing, by the way. Look at how much money we made. Wait, no DNA sequences. I didn't even know we were on the hunt for that. $11,000? This is like the most generous army ever. They're like, you did a mission. Here's 10 Gs. A confed courier chopper has sent a distress signal from a soot rock refueling station on Caspian. The station is manned by former colonists who have mutated through long-term chemical exposure. Yeah, they're just like eating their own barf. Reports of hostilities from scattered mutant colonies over the last few weeks. So we fear the chopper may have been shut down. Are they all hostile or do we need to... Does he look like Sam Shepard from Mass Effect? ...that all mutants are hostile. Or at least I think he does. Find that chopper, but most of all, you must retrieve and secure the attaché case which was being transported. Get to the chopper. Prepare for deployment. All right, we got to get to the chopper. Uh, our guy looks like Sam Shepard, and mutants are expendable. Good briefing, boss. Find the down chopper and recover those documents ASAP. Time for a little fun. Stay low until we see them. Oh, it lets me keep the minigun. And what is this? Oh, it gives me a crap gun. Oh, maybe it didn't let me keep it. It's just that was the gun that uh, it gave to me. All right, let's be Brutus because we want to hulk out on some guys. Sector have been terrorizing the locals. 
Oh, I, get, I have a shotgun and a feral cutter. Interesting. Lethal force for this op has been approved. Full lethal force. Boom. 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 Yeah, it's hard to describe. This guy moves a lot faster, I think, than the other guy, but I'm not 100% sure. Could just be in my mind. Boom, 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 boom. Cool. So this army kind of like just goes around recruiting random aliens, I guess. Because eventually we're going to recruit the next person. Oh, God. Mutants explode. If they were eating like dynamite or something. Okay, the next time we see more than two of them together, we're totally feraling out on them. Going crazy. We'll go call in feral on their ass. I don't know what that entails. He seems like an intense but measured fellow. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. Ah. Feral! Oh, look at them all. Yes. Okay, somehow that wiped out my feral and killed me. Cloning costs money. Oh, God. Oh, so wait. Wait, he died. Now we just have to clone him? Oh, interesting. I thought when he died, you just lose the mission. But I guess you go here. And then... Oh, no, wait. I don't want that. I want the minigun. Interesting. So, now it's just a solo like mission, but I guess they'll clone him for the next mission. A mutant stronghold to the north. I like to imagine what they explain to the clones when they've cloned them. You know, like they, they clone Brutus and he's like, hey, what, what happened to the previous me? And they're like, um, old age. He died of natural causes. They're like, really? He wasn't like brutalized by a gang of, of mutants who like bashed his skull in in, in pure rage and like ate his esophagus like no old age he's natural causes we just need another one of you you know so we're cloning you um because you could really tell the clone anything oh god um let's try and heal can i heal there you go. man these clones are at these uh, mutants are actually uh, a little trouble i guess he felt bad I guess he felt bad? About what? About shooting me? Let's kill this guy. I have a feeling I'm like not even hitting him. See, this is the one thing, I, I feel like the, the aiming in this game is a little less accurate than something like Halo, because like I can't actually control where like individual bullets go. I just have like this huge tarting reticle. I mean, I guess I have a minigun, which is not supposed to have range. When I had the sniper rifle I could control, but... Um, still in Halo, like when you hit the battle rifle, you could shoot from a distance. Again, I guess, I guess maybe it's just the wrong weapon, because, like, I have a chain gun. Oh, my God. Back off! Okay, let's go ahead and heal. Um, there we go. Heal. I still don't quite know how to use the, the heal, because it's, like, the same button... Or no, it's not the same button. It's a different button than everything else, but like, it kind of like overrides your grenades. I'm just not 100% sure what I'm doing with the heals. That's pretty sweet. Oh, I totally got that mutant too. Oh, that guy just exploded. There was some kind of explosive can on the field there. I miss Brutus. He was he was the the flame that kept me going, man. I don't want to. I don't want to slaughter mutants without Brutus. He would have loved this. Killing mutants is what he did. He lived to kill mutants. God. Okay. How about a grenade? I gotta start using these grenades. I always forget I have them. Damn. We're also destroying like mining equipment. I don't care if you take them out, but I do mind having to reclone you. He's like, it's so inconvenient having to resurrect you from the dead. Just try not to die. I'm still standing. Jesus. Die, die, die. Die, die, die. We no fight you no more. I feel like the mutants are trying to surrender. They're saying like, we no fight you no more. 
Can I heal? There we go. When I drop a med pack, does that mean I've used a med pack or have I used one and then wasted one? That's my concern is that I'm wasting med packs. Not that I'm using them. I'm trying to use them. I like the chain gun. So, sniper rifle, chain gun, machine gun, shotgun. We have like all the basic types. Is there going to be like rocket launchers and flamethrowers in this game probably eventually? Probably. Oh, God. Who is that? Guys on like the edge of the battlefield who are so far away. There's absolutely no way I could shoot them. What is happening? There we go. All right, we just have to run over to them like an idiot. Blah! There you go. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, there's a guy right here. The mutant right here. I don't even know if... Do I have a melee weapon button? Not that I can tell. I don't know, that just ducks. Blah! Oh, I think I shot his face off. Eat that, muty. Um... What does this say? King... Kingman. Ah, uh, good old Kingman oil. Good manufacturer right there. Remember, it's uh, not a luxury sedan unless it's a Kingman. There's like a red guy on my dot over here. Oh, it's that guy over up there that I can't get. Um, should I use a med pack? Not yet. Let's kill a few more guys first. Like this guy. Kaboom! Anyone else? Man, I can't believe I lost Brutus. I bet this section would be a lot easier with like a uh, second uh, person to like help you kill stuff. Oh well, what can you do though? I'm looking forward to when we get like a third and fourth special person. Um, so I think the next person is Hawk, and she has the ability to stealth. Um, and actually, I remember I read that when this game came out, um, uh, Hawk was considered one of the characters that was kind of underpowered. She kind of sucked, and I think it's because she had her health was too low. But I mean, obviously she's meant to be a stealth character, but again, I think this is where sort of the, the criticism of the game comes in where, um, you know, the game actually leaned fairly heavily into combat and the extra skills didn't matter as much. But um, I'm still interested to see her. I mean, I'd love to be able to turn it visible. It'd be kind of interesting to just try and like run through this part stealthy. I'd hate to meet up. Like the exact opposite of what I'm doing now, instead of murdering everyone, just like running through and Having them not even know that you're there. I mean, I guess I could kind of do that right now because it's like fog. Can't really see me all that well. Ah, damn it. I need a medic now. All right, I'm just going for it. I don't know where I am. I don't know if I'm following the radar anymore. Slaughter this guy. Where am I? Like, I can't even see. Oh, there we go. There's a guy. I've like fallen into a valley that I can't fall my way out of. Heal. Looks like those mutants believe that briefcase is worth dying for. Oh god. Accommodate them. Oh god. Did that mutant kill the other mutant? Okay. <clears throat> Just gotta go over there, I think. I think. Where are we going? Oh no, wait, there they are, guys. Boom! Something was explosive there. Die, die! Okay, so I want to go up and over there. So maybe I want to go around here? Yikes! Things are exploding. Standing. Mutants everywhere! 
Okay. Is this where I came from? Damn it. <laughs> this is... Uh, I just traveled all the way... What? Where am I going? I wonder if there's a way to see, like, a, a bigger overall map. Hold on, start. No, I can't. Find the down chopper. Oh, I did that. I don't even remember doing that. Recover lost documents. Uh, that, apparently that's not done. I've somehow did two of the three objectives of the mission. Okay, I'm just going to follow the radar. It wants me over here. And I really need to watch my health. Go kill that guy. Kind of wish I had regenerative health, to be honest. Just so much more convenient. There's a mutant there. Blow him up. Okay, now... Oh, there's a whole other section over there. Okay. Let's just run for it. Oh, and the thing is, like, right over here. Probably, like, right up in this building is my guess. Oh, God. Oh, my God, look at them all. Oh, God. I threw grenades in there. Okay. Good job, brute force. We are powering up, and the extraction point should be phasing in momentarily. Phase in, phase in! Hurry! Phase in the goddamn extraction point! Med packs! Oh god, no! 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 Oh, man! But technically, we passed the mission, right? <laughs> Oh god, do we have to still do this mission? <laughs> Wait. We have to do the extraction part of the mission? So, the whole mission was completed, and they're and the guy's like, boss, they didn't extract, and he's like, clone them at their last known coordinates so they can extract. We need to for for legal purposes, all four parts of the mission have to be completed. I feel like if you've completed the other three of the four of the extraction part, like, rather than cloning you and sending you back to the planet to be extracted, they should just be like, well, you're done. Once you clone, you should just be at the end. That is pretty interesting. All right, let's, uh, let's extract, I guess. There we go. I recovered my, my own brain. Let's see where this extraction was that I was so, so close to yet so far. It's like right over here somewhere. Right up here. Goddamn mutants. Yeah, here it was. You know what? At least, though, at least the... Like, when you die and you have to clone yourself, you seem to clone yourself, like, at a very nearby checkpoint, so... Uh, and the level is all still, like, half done. It seems like the guys you killed remain, so... Not too bad. We recovered some DNA sequences this time. Again, didn't know we were on the lookout for that. Didn't know what that was. We picked it up at some point. It just looked like another jar of ammo to me, but... A moon orbiting the planet Caspian. Home of a cult known as the Sword of Shadu. Those guys are seers, right? Yes. A race of mind... Sword of Shadu. The thieves of thought. The seers themselves are... <laughs> members of the Confederation. The estranged cultists, however, are capable of atrocities that exceed comprehension. A group of fanatics led by a demented seer named Shadoon. He has betrayed his pack. He shall <coughs> suffer. Okay. The artifact you found... My sentiments exactly, text, dude. ...was traced back to Shadoon. As a result, we infiltrated his colony with a seer spy. The spy failed to rendezvous for his extraction. All right, kill everybody. Maybe not the spy who's on our side. Oh, but we get to be her. Hawk. Half visual. Basically the ghost. Let's see what her abilities are. Oh yeah, there we go. She's an energy blade. And she can squeeze through tight doorways. Hey, 
Turn invisible. Where is she? There. Ah! All right, we'll get to be here. <laughs> we'll we'll experience all this. The third member of our crew is almost here. Well, there she. Oh, never mind. She's here already. <sighs> you are Hulk. Hello, Brutus. I've seen your file, Tex. You've got a hell of a record. Files are for paper pushers, Hawk. <laughs> the dialogue is like pretty hilarious. Quietly. It's like they're trying to be edgy, but they're like really not. <laughs> it's, it's amusing. All right. Time to be Hawk. Come in, brute force. Hunting for Shadoon. Alright, so here's Hawk's abilities. Whoop. Oh. Like a predator. Like a goddamn predator. This is a good chance to win my plate. And she's invisible for a long time. It's gonna like run by all these dudes. Nav beacon updated. Man, she's gonna be so screwed when she decloaks. She's gonna be near none of her allies. She's about to decloak. Made it pretty far on the level, though. Made it to, like the boss. She just ran her way through everyone. Can we assassinate this guy? Oh god. Okay, see now we're screwed. Now we gotta like play this as Hawk, who does not have a lot of health. I'm just, I'm trying to constantly move. Oh, my guys are with me. I'm trying to constantly move so that I won't get killed. I want to experience playing as Hawk because I heard she was like underpowered, but. Oh, like I totally did not want to be part of the, the fracas. Psychic Ruby acquired. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Guns exhausted. Needs to recharge. Okay. It's a recharging gun though, right? Where's Brutus, by the way? Brutus is dead? <laughs> what? I leave you and Brutus alone for five minutes. What happened to Brutus? Yo, dude. Wait, what happened to Brutus? Seers can warp themselves to these small towers. Try blowing one up. There we go. Ain't nobody warping themselves to those. All right, Tex. Destroy these things, man. If I can aim at them. Boom. Ugh. This is actually a little tedious. The towers. I don't know why I'm destroying these ones. I feel like no one's gonna be uh, teleporting themselves to these ones. Boom! Oh, and one over here. Jeez, it took a lot of ammo. All right, we're now safe from Sears teleporting on top of us. I'm still standing. It's gonna go up and how about I just shoot them all? You may be a psychic, but are you immune to bullets to the face? I can't believe Brutus died. That's actually really hilarious. I wasn't even playing as him that time. I kind of want to play as him one more time before we're like done playing, but who knows if that will actually happen now. Look, it's one of their teleporters. I don't know if it'll warp you through. Yeah, You'll have to be our it. guinea pig. Well, it worked. Like I don't you. fear being turned into atoms ever since my best friend Brutus was killed somehow. I'm all about revenge. I will take any risk. Teleport myself, put myself through any peril to have the chance of avenging Brutus, my friend. What? She had a sniper rifle. I guess that makes sense, actually. Usually the stealth characters have things like sniper rifles. Okay, what is my secondary weapon here, by the way? It's a crap gun. 
And we have a chain gun and a crap gun. Oh, here's another teleporter. You're picking up massive energy readings near your position, squad. Readings indicate a dampening field. The spy has to be this. there. Okay, there's like one glowing, giant glowing ball. I don't know what that's about. Oh, look! A dead recon unit. How useful. What does that mean? Switch back to, uh... Stealth girl. Oh, so she has a sniper rifle. Cool. I'm gonna use this for general combat. Gas grenades. Okay, what what is this thing? See that red button? Shoot it. Okay. Nothing here. That cell is empty. They must have moved him. I mean, I could see it was empty just by looking, and I didn't have to shoot the red thing. What the hell are hounds doing on Shadoon? Hounds. Uh oh. Oh god. Oh god. I was about to turn invisible. Didn't have a chance. What is happening? What? Negative money? We lost $3,000. It cost us $3,000 to go on that mission. <laughs> Alright, team. You guys are going on this mission. This mission looks half done, Chief. What happened to the other guys before us? Uh. They retired. Successfully. Peacefully. I've spotted the enemy. Jeez, what are these things? Oh my god. Use health. Use health, Brutus. Did that cultist just beg for help? If so, we're having none of that, right guys? There being none of that crap. All right, now what? Ooh, I could pick up a minigun if I wanted. Oh, now we can go over this way. I'm glad we got to play as Brutus again. Yeah, Brutus angry. Okay, I thought I was able to, like, attack people or something. I don't know how to do it. I'm just gonna shoot them in raging feral mode. Uh, my rabies are kicking in, guys. Stand back while I clear the way. My rabies powers are coming online. Not beacon updated. Listen up. There's an opening in the magnetosphere. We're going to send in some help to the grid. Hunting for Shadoon. This looks like a pretty active combat scene. All right. Weapons fire. Well, let's return the favor, everyone! Ah, let's show them what brute force is all about! They should call us brutal force! Ah, 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 ah. Oh, God. Um, let's be Hawk. I want to use all these abilities. Going stealth, boys. I'll get them from behind. I can even shoot while stealth. Oh, but it, like, severely speeds up your de-stealthing. Oh, yes. Teleport on me and get shot in the back. You evil psychic overlord dude. I find that, that Hawk is not necessarily, um, as vulnerable as some of the other characters, but I feel like I'm, like, dodging and weaving more than her. She's certainly faster. And I'm really making an effort to try and not get shot. When I'm someone like Tex, I think I just, like, accept that I'm going to get hit. You know, like, I don't really make too much effort to dodge. Anyone else want any? That was a fun battle. Um, all right, this way. Another thing I appreciate this game about this game is they definitely like point you in the direction of where to go. Like the radar is usually pretty good at why why does tech suck at aiming? I'm getting a report that a ship just um, entered moon orbit from But you usually have a sense of where to go and there's usually like a yellow dot on your radar showing you where to go, so it's it's hard to get really lost. Somewhere else. The spy. Oh the spy's coming with us, don't you worry. Boom, headshot. Maybe this gun isn't crap, actually. Shadoon will have his day. I think he just got sniped by Hawk. 
Oh, I was going to say, are those bad guys? They're my team. My team of monsters and outcasts fighting a bunch of naked psychic dudes on a lava planet. How did how did it come to be this way? I was on the football team in high school, dating a cheerleader. Why am I on some monster planet fighting with a team of freaks against monster ghouls? Huh? Answer me that. Where did my life take a turn? So Tex is wondering right now. How did I end up here? No. Wait. You got Also, I'm not even the real Tex. I'm some kind of bizarre sci-fi clone. Chip, there isn't anything you can do about it now. But keep searching. He still could be down there. Keep your eyes peeled, people. So wait, we just missed a ship taking off, and they were like, if the spy was on the ship, we were basically screwed. Way too late to do anything. Well, see ya. Good luck. Good luck now with a futile, desperate mission that probably is not going to lead to success. Oh. How dare you. How dare you. Who dares teleport away from their own demise? We go in here. Updated. No. On. See if you can find some. Yeah, you little. Oh, it's it's Hawk. From a distance, Hawk has like the small, frail physique of a naked psychic boy. So it's hard to tell. Hard to tell sometimes. Oh my God! Look at that. That's crazy. I was trying to aim that so carefully. I feel like the aiming in this game is like a little unforgiving. A, a tad like it's not that hard to aim but it's not this uh, i should say it's not that hard to aim generally but like if you want to aim at something specific it's actually tough to get like the exact targeting okay how do we get over there like we want to be over this wall i was just seeing this this game's praises about how it's easy to not get lost and here i am like stuck Okay, so if we go over here, this doesn't work. Uh, there's just gems, rubies lying all over the place. I guess we didn't pick them up from our battle last time. Still does not help our predicament of how the hell to get over there. Predicament. Oh, here we go. Activate the control panel. All right, that, that was a little subtle. I feel like we kind of missed that. Stay alive, Hawk. Don't you die. Jeez, the AI controls Hawk for 10 seconds and she's already like almost dead. You gotta be around for the victory party. We celebrate together as a team. Okay, here we go. Here's our new teleporter pad. I like how we're just blindly wandering into alien teleporters like, yeah, sure. If I were the aliens, I'd rig one up to be like an incinerator and like we would all know not to take that one. So if invaders show up and they walk into it, they would just, you know, be evaporated. Ultimate booby trap. Never trust an alien teleporter. Until I would work. You know what I always thought would be kind of hilarious? Is if you, uh, if you rigged up a house with all sorts of, like, smart, uh, you know, remote controls and stuff. Like, you can turn on the lights and you could play sounds and music and stuff. And then you kind of, like, left it open to be burglarized. And uh, when burglars broke in, you, like, rigged it up as if the house was haunted. Like, as soon as they get in the house, you, like, close the doors behind them and lock it. And then, like, you turn all the lights off. And then you have, like, one door, like, creak open. And upstairs, you hear, like, a child laughing and giggling, like, running across the upstairs floor and stuff. And, like, have, like, a mirror in one room and, like, show a reflection standing in the mirror, like, pointing at them with, like, the eyes open. And, like, like, like scare them straight. You want to talk about how you scare people straight? You don't wait till they've been caught for crimes. You lure them into some kind of macabre haunted house and you scare the crap out of them while they're trying to be burglars. And they think, you know what? I now believe in ghosts and I'm never breaking into a house again. You know, like lock them in there for six hours, torment them. That's what you do, people. That's how you stop criminals. And that's how you protect your house. You buy a second house, rig it up as a haunted house. And you slowly convert burglars in your your town into good, good uh, you know, superstitious and terrified individuals. This guy's like literally raising the ground. This is our spy, I guess. Apparently, I was busy giving you guys my haunted house plan as we saved him. Good job, spy man. It's a 
shocking that you needed saving. I sense you might betray us. You might be a double agent, actually, but we'll go with it. How much of our mission is left? Rescue the spy. We did it. So there's really nothing left to do now. Are we supposed to follow you? Yeah, spy man leads the way. We'll just follow him. The area ahead of my tainted brothers. My tainted brothers. Slaughter these. I love slaughtering the indigenous life forms of a planet in the morning. Maybe Tex is not sad about his lot in life. Maybe he loves this. He's like, man, in high school, I just wanted to kill everyone. But it was not socially acceptable. But here, they pay me thousands of dollars to do it. It's awesome. Boom, boom, boom. You are under attack by whom? Oh, a bunch of guys. <laughs> I thought we were killing everyone. There you go, Psychic Ruby, your Psychic Ruby. Hey, who is shooting him? Where are the other dudes? Where's where's everyone else on my team? Hawk, you better not be dead. Kill this guy too. I, th these energy weapons have really grown on me. They're actually like pretty accurate at a distance. That begin updated. Let's go back to the chain gun just for argument's sake. Here you go. <laughs> There's something satisfying about riddling uh, psychics with just a whole bunch of bullets. Oh my god. No surrender. Aids. Okay. Those were like war dogs or whatever they were. I am on my way. Anyone else? Psychic. More psychics. Here you go. Here's a psychic boss, dude. Yeah, just evaporate him with bullets. Say hello to my friend, Minigun. Anyone else? Oh, here comes the dude. He was just cowering in the back for a while. Uh, let's switch back to... Let's be Hawk again. She's the weakest. If we can pass this game with the weakest person, I think we're, we're in golden shape. You lead the way, man. You lead the way. Oh, here we go. Hey, we passed the level as Hawk. Excellent job. Updated. You should have plenty of information about the cult's activities, but you aren't done yet. No. Oh. new primary objective is to invest... Retrieve new technology. ...inspire and find the technology he was talking about. We need to find out what Shadoon is up to. Head out. Fine. Extra credit. Hey, look, Wonderful. he can walk slower, too. Oh, yeah. She has, like, her, her like, sexy... <laughs> <laughs> Your sexy walk. Whoa, wait. Does Tex have a sexy walk? You better, buddy. Uh, kind of. Okay, hold on. Just Brutus? Brutus, man. Do you have a sexy walk? Nah, Brutus does not. As slow as you can. That's as sexy as Brutus gets, which... Well, I mean, it doesn't do nothing for me, but... It's uh, no hawk. Anyway, let's be Brutus for a bit. The battlefield is clear of all threats. We have done our job of brutalizing all native life on this planet. Very little of its indigenous life remains to either live or procreate and carry on the next generation. Just gonna be very little left of this civilization, I think. We've somehow missed the checkpoint. It's back here. Wait, is the yellow thing... Yeah, the yellow thing is where I'm supposed to go. And it's, like, dead ahead. Okay, it's odd, odd and confusing. Okay, whatever. We're just gonna keep going this way, I guess. Which is away from the spire. I'm very confused about where we're supposed to go. Like, we're supposed to go up there, but how the heck do we get up there? Oh, God, I fell into the lava. Okay, well, that's the end of Brutus. It's a two-man squad now, Hawk. Well, Brutus's bright idea was jumping in the lava, and that turned out to be wrong. What's your what's, what's your brilliant idea? Okay, what about this? This is a totally different path. Yep, this is where we're supposed to go. I can tell. God, I wish we had Brutus with us. We got uh, we got Tex in the background on heavy support, and meanwhile, we just gotta like bob and weave 
as our uh, golden girl hawk here. Boom, boom. I mean, I guess we could try her other gun. I just feel like there's no way I'm going to be able to no scope these guys. Oh, I think I just no scoped a guy. I no scope this guy. Boom. It's definitely a bigger waste of ammo, and I'm making myself much more prone to being shot. So I'm going to stop doing that. And I am taking damage. Come on, you damn psychic wizards. Ugh. Run, Hawk! Well, you know what? Turn invisible. Alright, now, let's switch back to Tex while she's invisible. Brutalize these guys with a chain gun. There we go. Well, I guess the psychic rubies like heal you or something. Get over here. That guy's a sweet robe, but uh, no minigun. Plus, the robe does not really protect you against miniguns, so lose, lose. Get over here. Get over here, nerd! So I don't uh, fully understand the point of destroying these like yellow lights, because it's like, yeah, they can teleport to them, but what good does it really do them? Damn, looks like I broke a nail. <laughs> but did you kill a bunch of dudes? That's the thing I care more about. Killing. Taking fire. Not sure where from. Try and pinpoint where the fire is coming from. <laughs> I'm taking fire. I'm not sure where it's coming from. Try and pinpoint where the fire is coming from. Great advice, dude. If I could do that, I wouldn't be taking fire now, would I? This is not a good time to reload. I'm taking serious damage. Well, this guy. I think Hawk's about to die, actually. Then it'll be a squad of one. Which I don't want it to be. I miss Brutus, man. Why did Brutus have to jump in a pit of lava? Why wasn't he smart enough not to do that? I mean, I was in control of him, but he kind of slipped. He kind of slipped. Oh my god, a giant glowing head. Am I so important now as to receive guests from the Confederation? I trust you had a warm reception. I wish I could greet you myself, but I think my priests can do just as well. <laughs> now we're fighting giant psychic monkey heads. What is the world coming to? Let's kill these, like, flame hounds first. They're our big problem. Okay, Hawk's dead. <laughs> I saw that one coming. Do I have no more med packs? Oh no. No more med packs. And I'm dead. I got disintegrated. $53,000. Every mission, we're making like triple the last mission. Time to clone up, people. The psychics are like, huzzah, we killed the team of uh, evil invaders. And we're like, oh yeah? How about you fight our much more attractive clones? You guys remember that show Clone High? It was like an old, uh... I think it was a bit... No, Will Forte. No. W Bill Hader? Will Forte? One of them. It was an old show. Old cartoon show. It had like Abe Lincoln, Joan of Arc, JFK, Gandhi, Cleopatra. It was an amazing show. It was by the guys who did the Lego movie. And uh, some of the people from Scrubs. Hilarious show. The whole premise is that uh, U.S. Uh, government agents cloned a bunch of like uh, famous celebrities like Abe Lincoln, Joan of Arc and all that and they wanted to raise them up uh, to like use them but in order to raise them they had to send them to high school so they made the, they like bought a town and they like uh, set up a high school that was controlled by like an evil scientist he was the principal and a hilarity ensued because you know like Abe Lincoln is going to high school with Gandhi and all that stuff so uh, yeah uh, hilarious, classic show, and it was before, I think it was Bill Hader. No, 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 it was Will Forte. It was, it was before Will Forte had, like, really exploded, so we didn't know how popular he was going to become yet. Um, yeah! 
Eat it, buddy. Is this the, the main bad guy? There, we just stole their technology. Now we can create psychic soldiers or something like that. I don't know. We did it! We, <laughs> we successfully desecrated an alien culture, stole their cultural artifacts, turned them against one another, and brutalized their breeding population. Success. So let's see what the next mission is. I think uh, this is where we're going to end up calling it, though. Even though they only have three of our four squads, the fourth person, I think, is just uh, really good at uh, sniping. The attaché case you recovered from Caspian suggests an alliance between these mercenaries and members of the Caspian underworld. What are they up to now? The Red Hand has started excavating ruins on Estuary. They are recording ancient hieroglyphs from the temples and transmitting them to Caspian. We haven't pinpointed where yet. Why? And why do we care? There is power in ancient writing. The power to control spirits. Enough! Ooh, spirit the magic. ...of the Confederation. We need to move immediately. I feel like it's inappropriate for Brutus to show up to work in his underwear. I mean, like, we both got dressed. Hawk and me both got dressed. Meanwhile, Brutus is, like, literally in underpants. I didn't know that was an acceptable dress code. Like, imagine there was a bunch of alien characters and then a human character just in a pair of tidy whiteies. That's the equivalent of how Brutus dresses, man. He's like, my lizard body doesn't like clothes, you know? It's like, oh man, my shirt and pants are chafing me. I guess I won't wear them. <laughs> Let's show these guys the meaning of terror. <sighs> Terrorist ghetto, man. Something over here. Right now we're in a beach where all Hey, cool, look at this. Yeah, a lot of interesting locales in this game. Um, although, like, we are seeing some repeats. Like, we have seen sort of this, like, uh, beach layout before. Oh, and these terrorist guys we fought before. So we're, we're cycling back on some reused tile sets and so on. Um, oh, there we go. Can we take out the chopper? Or wait, what chopper are we talking about here? Kill this guy. Anyway, uh, this is uh, this has been Brute Force. This is a game that I had never played before, but uh, it was uh, requested from one of my uh, patrons, and uh, it was a game that kind of looked like something I felt like playing today. And so the stars lined up, and we got some uh, we got some Brute Force here. I say it's um it's a, it's an interesting like decent game uh, on the on the Xbox. Uh, I 100% would have played this back in the day if I had it. Um, I think. Like, for me personally, like, you know, not to compare everything to Halo, but this game specifically was sort of designed to uh, crisscross with Halo. You know, Microsoft wanted a Halo-like game, but also a game that was different enough from Halo that it wouldn't just be a clone of Halo, even though this game is uh, all about cloning. Uh, but uh, I think the developers succeeded. I mean, this game, it is sci-fi-ish, but it is quite different from Halo. Um, it has the squad mechanics of, like, uh, I know the developers were inspired by, like, Rainbow Six and even XCOM. Uh, so it is different, uh, but it does have some whispers of Halo. Um, I think, ultimately, I like the shooting mechanics in Halo better because I feel like I'm more accurate with my weapons. Uh, and this one, a lot of times, feels like I'm running around and it's just a bit of chaos. Weirdly, it's like, even though I, I said I like third-person shooters because you tend to have a wider field of view and you can tell where you're being shot from and stuff for some reason this game it feels a little more chaotic in combat as to like where i should get cover and where i'm being shot from so um oh well, that's a pretty cool view yeah i don't know like it's not bad or anything but it's just like something i'm getting used to um all in all though fun cool xbox game so yeah if you like shooters on the xbox especially the sci-fi slant you might want to check out some Brute Force. And so what did you guys think of this game today? Is it a game that uh, you yourselves have played? Feel free to share your comments uh, and your memories. Or, or share your comments in the comments down below. Yeah, share your memories and thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Uh, enjoy hearing from you guys. And uh, that's about it. If you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and all that stuff. And I will see you guys soon with another uh, video from the book, A Thousand One Video Games, you must play before you die. Until then, my friends, you take care of yourselves. And peace.